Hello, everybody out there. I got a testimony I want to share. Uh, I'm not a big speaker or, or talker and really a private person. Just keep to myself, basically, and just quiet. Doesn't talk much. So bear with me, and I'll try to get through this the best I can. So uh, I'm 44 years old now. This happened when I was 39, so five years ago, and I'm just now sharing this. Uh, I've been watching people's testimonies about seeing Jesus and and then all those uh, videos like that. So I feel like God wanted me to share mine. So here we go. So I suffer from anxiety really, really bad. Imagine being at the fair and you know those rides that take your stomach and you're just got that feeling like your stomach's dropping and just crawl out your skin kind of. Well. Imagine feeling like that for two weeks straight and you can't calm down no matter how hard you try. You just cannot do it. So I would spend my time walking around outside, couldn't sit still, scared to be around people, even my two little kids. It's a horrible thing to have. Couldn't work. I had to take, thank goodness I got a job where I can take off work, you know, periodically like that and it won't hurt my job. But anyway, it's a, it's a bad thing to deal with. I wouldn't wish it on the devil. Well, maybe the devil, right? Seriously, though, it's a real bad thing, and I've been dealing with it since I was 18 years old, so that's a long time. So, like I said, I had had it for two weeks straight, could not calm down, just couldn't do it. And uh, anyway, back to what I was saying about not believing, I didn't believe. I used to think religion was uh, something people made up years ago to control the population, make them obey laws. Ten Commandments and stuff to, uh, you know, it made sense to me. Keep the peace. No killing. No adultery. Etc. Etc. You don't know the rest. Uh, maybe for money too. And all this and that. But I'm here to tell you folks, if you don't know God and you're watching this video right now, this is 100% true. There is a God. There is Jesus that he sent for us. To die on the cross for our sins. All right, so let me get to the story. So two weeks straight, it's about to kill me. I just can't stand it. I get, I get a Bible. Got an older house with the outside carport, you know, not enclosed, just the carport. So I get the Bible. I go outside and I lay the Bible on the trunk of the car, which is facing outward toward the street. Excuse me. And, uh, you know, in the Bible, at the beginning of it, some of them, you know, well, maybe all of them, it's got, uh, you can read about times of turmoil or sadness or maybe hopelessness and all that stuff. So somebody had told me about that before, and I remembered. So I started reading about turmoil, and, uh, man, I was just really struggling. I just, like I said, two weeks into this, can't calm down. Didn't want to be around the family. So, I started begging, pleading with God. Just begging and pleading, begging and pleading, begging and pleading. You know, I've been to church throughout my life. Gone. Uh, grew up going with my grandma, my great grandma. She raised me. So, uh, I had prayed before. But let me tell you, that night, it wasn't like, Routine prayer, you know how it is. People's up there and they just pray, normal voice and all this and that. And that's not nothing wrong with that. There's no wrong way to pray. I'm just starting it out like this to tell you that I was intense. I prayed like a million times harder than I ever prayed. In other words, I really prayed for the first time. I feel like I was begging and pleading with God. Uh, I'm a big guy, like six four, two seventy five, and I come to tears. I'm not ashamed to say. So I was about to about to come to tears. And I was begging, please God, please help me take this from me, please. Please Lord, I can't stand this, please. It's hard thinking back because it was really tough, guys. I was like, please God, please take this from me. Take it, take it, take it. I can't stand it no more, take it, please. Just, God, if you're there, please help me, please. And Lord is my witness. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, I'm getting chills now thinking about it. You can see them on my arms. Probably can't on film, but I'm getting chills. So, 
anyway, like I said, I was praying. I was into it real hard. And something told me to look up. Broad daylight. I look up at the sky. And I see Jesus' face in the, in the sky. It was like a silhouette see-through. I could still see the clouds behind it in the sky. But I seen a perfect, perfectly detailed silhouette of Jesus' face. And I put that on everybody's life and my family. My two little kids, my one kid that's an adult, mine, uh, my wife, everybody. I put it on all their lives. Jesus is 100% real. Trust me. So, I seen his face, like I said, it was, it was a silhouette. I could see through it, but it was very detailed. I could see the hair down to his shoulders. I could see his eyes, his nose, his mouth, the beard, everything. Totally. Very, very, very vivid. And as I looked at it, of course, you know, I was just feeling like, oh, Lord, you know. I was surprised. Who wouldn't be, right? So, I'm looking up, and as I'm looking... It's coming down at me, getting bigger and bigger. It's never come down where I was. But it's, it's getting bigger because it's coming down, getting closer and closer. And this went on for about, I'd say, five, six seconds. And I got the most peaceful feeling. Remember, I had this stuff for two weeks straight. Could not stand it. Coming out of my skin. Crying, begging, pleading. Actually praying to God. Please help me. And as soon as I seen that, it's like the world was lifted off my shoulders. I didn't feel nothing. No, I didn't feel the anxiety anymore. It was totally gone. I'm like, bam, it was gone. My little son was three years old at the time. He's fishing to turn eight. I'm getting chills again. I wish he could see this. But I'm gonna try this on her. I think you can see them. Yeah, you can see the chills. Look. Anyway, five years later, I have not had an anxiety attack. Five years later. Praise God. I'm here to tell you he's 100% real. Man, I'm getting the chills again. Look at there. Look at that. Chills on my arms. I know you see them now. So I thank God for showing himself to me. Because obviously I believe now. And it feels so good to know that there is a God. He come down. His father sent him. He died on the cross for our sins. And if you believe in him, you shall not perish but have everlasting life. So if you don't know Lord God the Father Jesus, please, please get to know him. What an awesome feeling. Later, guys.